Hello learners, welcome to a new session of English for class 6. I hope you all are fine and healthy at home and spending your time with your loved ones. Well, I have a question for you. How many of you have siblings? Maybe a brother or a sister or maybe both? Tell me. Well, it is probably true that we love our siblings the most but there is another fact about our relationship with our siblings do we fight with our siblings my question to you is do you fight with your siblings do you have quarrels with them well we all fight with our siblings we fight on very trivial or small issues we fight over tv remote we fight over piece of cake or maybe for a bicycle ride. So there is nothing wrong with fighting with your sibling. But the question is how long does the fight continue or how does it end? Well students, today we are going to study a poem where a brother is fighting with the sister or two siblings are fighting with each other. So the poem that we are going to study today is titled The Quarrel by Eleanor Fazia. It is part of our NCRT book Honeysuckle Unit 3 for class 6. The poem The Quarrel by Eleanor Fazia. Eleanor is an English author of children's stories, plays, poetry, biography, history and satire. She was born on 13th February 1881 at London in England. She died on 5th June 1965 at Hampstead in England. Her notable works are Morning Has Broken, Gypsy and Ginger, The Little Book Room. Learners, now I am going to recite the poem and you all have to listen to it carefully. I quarrelled with my brother. I don't know what about. One thing led to another and somehow we fell out. The start of it was slight. The end of it was strong. He said he was right. I knew he was wrong. We hated one another. The afternoon turned black. Then suddenly my brother thumped me on the back and said, Oh, come along. We can't go on all night. I was in the wrong. So, he was in the right. Students, I hope you have enjoyed listening to the poem. Now, we together will have to recite the poem. I will say the lines and you will have to repeat after me. Okay? So, let us go. I quarreled with my brother. Repeat after me. I quarreled with my brother. I don't know what about. Repeat. I don't know what about. One thing led to another. Repeat. One thing led to another and somehow we fell out. Repeat and somehow we fell out. The start of it was slight. Repeat the start of it was slight. The end of it 
was strong. Repeat the end of it was strong. He said he was right. Repeat now. He said he was right. I knew he was wrong. Repeat after me. I knew he was wrong. We hated one another. Repeat after me. We hated one another. The afternoon turned black. The afternoon turned black. Then suddenly my brother. Repeat. Then suddenly my brother thumped me on the back. Thumped me on the back and said, Oh, come along. And said, Oh, come along. We can't go on all night. Repeat after me. We can't go on all night. I was in the wrong. Repeat after me. I was in the wrong. So, he was in the right. Now, repeat. So, he was in the right. I hope students, you have enjoyed reciting the poem with me. Let's take it slow and then you can pace your reading or reciting of the poem. Let us go back to the poem and understand what Eleanor is trying to tell us. The poem is narrated by a little girl who had a fight with her brother and she says, I quarreled with my brother, I don't know what about. So here she is saying that she had a fight with her brother but she doesn't know over what. The reason for the fight is not known. One thing led to another. They started the fight over one thing and then it led to another issue and it gave or reminded them of another reason or issue to fight over. Finally, the quarrel continued for a long time and somehow we fell out. So, both of them got really angry with each other and moved away from each other. The start of it was slight. The end of it was strong. At the beginning or at the start, the fight was a very small fight or a fight on a very small issue. But by the end, it became so big that they stopped talking to each other. He said he was right. I knew he was wrong. So, the brother thought that he was right and the fight was started by the sister. But our narrator, the little girl, knew that he was wrong. We hated one another. They started hating each other after that fight. The afternoon turned black. And therefore, the entire afternoon became very sad. Then suddenly, my brother thumped me on the back. So, all of a sudden, the poet's brother 
patted on her back. You remember the patting done by your elder siblings or your friends? Yeah, exactly that. So, the brother patted on her back and said, Oh, come along. We can't go on all night. I was in the wrong. He said that they cannot be angry with each other for such a long time. After all, they are brother and sister or they are sibling. And they can't go on being angry and sad all night long. So, the fight that got them separated and they stopped talking to each other, they could not bear the situation. So, they finally decided to come together and finish the fight. And what else did the brother do? He also accepted that he was wrong or it was his mistake or fault. And the final line says, so he was in the right. So, here the little girl, our poet says that by accepting his mistake and ending the fight, the brother did the right thing. I hope you all have understood the reason behind the quarrel and how the fight ended. So, my suggestion to all you people out there is do not fight with your sibling. But if you do, please end your fight and be together. Now, we are going to do some exercises related to the poem. Learners, now try and guess the meaning of the underlined phrase. The first sentence here is, and somehow we fell out. The phrase underlined is fell out. Think of the meaning. Yes, fell out means to cut off relations over a quarrel. The sentence that we can make out of this phrase is we fell out of friendship. That means, we ended our friendship. Our next sentence is, the afternoon turned black. So, the phrase underlined here is turned black. Now, think of the meaning. The meaning of the phrase turned black is became unpleasant or sad. Remember in the poem after the fight between the sibling, the afternoon became unpleasant or sad. What did you learn there? Afternoon turned black. Let us look at the sentence. After the fight with my sibling, my day turned black. So, after the fight with the sibling, the day of this person turned sad or became unpleasant. So, learners, now I want you to read the lines that appear on the screen and discuss their meanings. These lines are taken from the poem. Our first line is, one thing led to another. This line refers to the fight between the sibling, where the siblings in the poem went on arguing over one issue or thing, then on another. They went on fighting. Our second line is, the start of it was slight. It means the beginning or the reason of the quarrel between the sibling was small or petty. The third sentence or line is, the end of it was strong. The end of what? The quarrel. 
the end of the coral was strong. So, it means the coral ended on a very bitter note. Our fourth line is the afternoon turned black. So, the quarrel spoiled their mood. Whose mood? The siblings mood. The brother and the sister mentioned in the poem and their afternoon became sad. After the quarrel, their mood was spoiled and the afternoon became sad. Our fifth sentence or line is thumped me on the back. It means patted on the back in a friendly manner. We all have come across a situation when our friend or our siblings or even our elders pat on our back when we do something good. So, here the brother pats on sister's back in a very friendly manner. Learners, next we have a very fun activity for you that you can do at home. So, let us see what all do we need for this activity. We are going to make a bookmark. So, in order to make a bookmark, what do we require? We need any hard paper or a cardboard paper. We need a thread or you can also use a ribbon. We would need a pair of scissors and a paper puncher, a scale, one pencil, you can use a marker or color of your choice and one sketch pen and we will also need a rubber. So, let us start making the bookmark. Let us take this blank cardboard paper which I have already cut into a small rectangular. The size of this paper should be such that it should hide in the book. Now, first we will make a line over here and as we are trying to make a pencil, I am going to make or draw some lines. Next, we are going to make a triangle at the top. And now, we will cut this part of the triangle. Now, we have a cut out of a pencil. Take your black sketch pen and draw or fill the outline of the pencil. You can also use the scale in order to draw these lines. So, next, since our pencil is of red and black color, we are going to color our pencil or the cutout with red.
So, after coloring what you will have would be something like this. So, this is what we will have after coloring the entire pencil. Now, the back of this cardboard will be blank and here I have written a small quote regarding fights and peace. It reads an eye for eye only ends up making the whole world blind. So, you can write any quote of your choice and then we are going to make a hole with this punching machine. Now, we have a hole in our bookmark. We will use this thread, you can use any ribbon of your choice. We will put this inside and tie a knot. After tying the knot, we will have something like this and on the other side, we will have the coat written. Next, you can take any book that you are reading or any notebook. You can mark the page that you are reading, put the bookmark inside and put this thread out and that is it. You will have the page marked by this bookmark. So, this is my bookmark and I will never forget the page that I am reading. I am sure you have enjoyed today's session. Now, I have a homework for you. As your homework, you have to describe a recent quarrel that you had with your brother, sister, or a friend. How did it start? What did you quarrel about? How did it end? You have to describe the entire quarrel. Learners, make sure to complete this homework and I am sure you will enjoy remembering the quarrel and writing about it. With this, we come to the end of the session. Till next time, goodbye.